Welcome to the Mindy Paul Show, the podcast where we discuss mind, money, business and manifestation all in one mic. Having worked with business owners, CEOs and executives in industries from accountants, lawyers, dentists, coaches, consultants and even Hollywood producers, just to mention a few from across the globe on how to earn more and work less and attract an abundance of your dream clients. Now their circumstances may differ, but my message remains the same. You've got so far doing things your way. Now if it's not working your way, why not try someone else's way that's been proven to work? So what do you say? Are you ready to give mine a shot? Hey, welcome back to the Mindy Paul Show. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and earning lots of money and having fun in the process. That's what it's all about today, right? So here's one thing that's really important to your success. It doesn't matter where you are in your business right now in terms of like how much profit you're generating, how much money you're making each month. A lot of time I hear people talk the talk saying that they want to build their business. They want to become a multimillionaire. They want to do, you know, 100K months. They want to grow their business, expand their business. But one thing they fail to do is the most important thing is making the decision of the person who earns the money that you want to earn. So listen, if you want to be earning 100K a month, that means that you must be making 100K a month decisions. I remember like Bob Proctor said one thing once, which really stuck with me. He said, you're not earning like 10,000 a month because you want to earn 10,000 a month. You're earning 10,000 a month because that's all you know how to earn. Your awareness isn't there. So you must be making like, I remember when I was earning 2,500 bucks a month. And one of the reasons was because I was making 2,500 buck a month decisions. So are you making decisions based upon your current reality, where you are in your business, what you're facing, your, your income, or are you really truly making decisions from outside of your current income level. So let me just like break that down for you. Now, I want you to think about how you're going about running your business. Are you making sales calls? Are you prospecting people? Are you taking action to get yourself uh, more consultations, more meetings with people? Now think about if you were at, let's say your goal is to earn 100,000 a month. Now do your activities, do your decisions match that you that of which would, you would be if you're doing 100,000 a month? And you'll probably say, no, there's a huge gap between how you think, the decisions that you make. Just this morning, I was actually on a, a sales call with somebody and um, the person wanted to become a multimillionaire. And he wasn't able to make decisions of a multimillionaire. Now, the way we make our decisions, they impact us moving forward. Now, how do you know the decisions that you're making? Sometimes we feel like we're making the right decisions when we're not. How do you know that the decisions that you're making are the ones that are causing you to stay stuck because you can't see past um, past where you are. And this this chap was a great guy and he said he wanted to like, you know, get to a 10K a month goal. And yet there was resistance in making um, a decision of doing what it takes to um, get into that 10,000 goal. He said like, you know what, I, 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 need, I don't need group coaching, I need one-to-one. -one. I'm like, dude, you don't need group coaching. You, no, you don't need one-to-one, -one. you just need to have a process, you need to have a plan, you need to be following a system. Listen, I've done that 10K a month, so one thing that you've got to do is go to someone who's already done what you want to do, and then you've got to put your own like thinking thought process to one side because it's that whole thought process, that whole way you're thinking, the way you're thinking, it causes you to, it causes you to stay stuck. So just this chap, right? Just think about it. In his mind, he needed one-to-one -one coaching. He said, I'm different. I said, well, no one's different, right? We're all, we're all the same. We're all, we all a part of the same, same um, environment, right? Subconsciously, we're all connected. So I said, what you need is you need a system. You need a blueprint to follow. Right way, like your way of thinking right now is stopping your progress. And this happens to everybody. I want you to think about what opportunities have you had that's arisen and you've been thinking different thoughts of why it won't work for you. You've reasoned with yourself. You've given yourself all of the reasons why something isn't going to work for you. Now, success leaves clues. So you've got to follow these clues, right? Now, I know like if I want to earn, let's say if I want to earn, earn like 10 million a month, it would really pay dividends if I found someone who's already doing 10 million a month right? If you're doing 10 million a month, I need to work with someone who's doing 10 million a month because that person has a blueprint, has the structure, has the framework of what I need to do to for me to get there. 
So whenever you're like picking, you're looking to do something outside of what your current level of income is, you want one of the ones, one of the main things that you want to do, I would suggest this is find a mentor, right? Who's already doing what you're doing. And as long as they've got a proven track record, they've got evidence, they've done it themselves. They showed you and they've got case studies on other people they've helped. Then what you've got to do is you've got to go to that person and say, Hey, listen, I'm an open book and I wait, I'm an open glass. I'm a glass, right? I want you to fill me up with all of your knowledge, all of the strategies that you've used to get there. Now, chances are, if that this person's got a great track record of helping countless people get to 100K, let's just talk about myself, for example. I've got so many clients that I've helped get to 100K months, right? And I'm not talking going from 90,000 a month to 100,000. I'm talking about from a few thousand bucks, 5,000 bucks a month to 100,000 a month. Now, there's a reason for that because I understand I've done that. I've been there. I've I've got the steps. I've put, I followed the certain steps and I've gone there. And now all you've got to do is you've got to be open-minded. You've got to put your own thinking to one side, your own logical way of thinking. You have your way of thinking, which dictates your results, how you move, what actions you take. Um, and then you've got to park that up and you've got to, you've got to, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to say, Hey, listen, it's not working my way. So I need to figure out, I need to listen to you and, and follow. It's like, if you've got someone who's a sprinter, right? Someone who's, a, who's great at sprinting and you're just getting into like running, and this person's telling you all the stretches that you need to do, do this, eat that, do this, do this. And you've got to follow that person. Now, this person's done it, been doing it over and over again. This is why, you know, people go to coaches. This is why people go to mentors, people that are already doing what you're doing. And you've got to start to make decisions on the way they think. You've got to follow their lead. So I, one thing I look for in people is firstly, are they coachable? You know, they say they want to get to 100,000, but are they 100,000 a month? Are they actually willing to follow your way of making decisions, following your way of thinking? Now, if they are, they've got a chance. But normally, if you meet resistance, that resistance is coming from that person's own self-concept of themselves, the way they see themselves. They see, it's like your subconscious mind, your GPS, which I call it, its whole purpose is to keep you safe. So anytime your cause to grow it's going to get you to question yourself. It's going to tell you, it's going to, ju it's going to justify for you all the reasons why it's not a good idea, why you, why that's not what you need. And it will keep you stuck forever. And forever is a long time, right? So go back into your own ways of thinking. When you have an opportunity to do something, you probably come across this, this phrase in your mind. If it's too good to be true, then it probably is. You know, so you've got to get out your own way. You've got to get out that own way of thinking and start to think from a different frequency. There's a different, there's constant, there's an infinite amount of frequencies, right? So someone who's earning a hundred thousand a month, they want to earn, let's say half a million a month. That person's got to, again, adjust their, their way of currently thinking because the way you make decisions bring you to exactly where you are. The way you've been making decisions like for the past five years, they must change in order for you to earn more money, grow your business, expand yourself, grow as a human being. You've got to make a different set of decisions. And this works in all areas of life. This works with your diet, your health, your relationships. You can't do the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. So start to really up your way, up your level and demand and command more from yourself. You know, really analyze the way you're thinking. Say, right, is my way you're thinking helping me? Like I, I'm looking at my business now. I want to um, massively grow my business. So I can't think the same way. I can't act the same way. I can't do the same things as I was doing. That took me to a hundred thousand a month, half a million a month. Now I know that if I want to get to a million, two million a month, I've got to, I've got to like learn new things. So today, in fact, I've got to, I've got to call a strategy call with someone that I'm looking to work with a new mentor for me somebody that I believe that can really help me, that'd be fundamental in getting me to my goal. So I want to, I want to get, get this knowledge. I want to get these areas of expertise and equip myself. All right. It's like you're going to war, you're going into a jungle and you know, there's going to be wild animals there. There might be some of them tribes out there want to take you out. And so you want to make sure that you've got your bow and arrow there. You've got your, your Rambo knife. You've got fucking first aid kit. You've got some food, survival food. So that's going to get you through your journey. And business is no different. You've got to have these tools. Everybody wants to go somewhere, but is, are not willing to pack in their suitcase the things they need for that destination. Imagine your goal is 100,000 a month. You need to pack your case and you need to have all of the survival equipment in there, all the stuff that you're going to need, the right information, the right knowledge, 
the right expertise, the right strategies to get you there. You can't just go with an empty bag because you, you're going to fall short. You're going to die of hunger. You're going to starve yourself. So just going like into that jungle, I, I know that, listen, this is my goal. This is where I want to go. So, all right, let me analyze my business. Let me see my weak spots. Let me see where I need to grow. Let me see where my team needs more expertise. Do we need to bring new people in? What kind of coaching do we need? Look, because I, I don't claim to know it all. I hire coaches to help my team as well for certain different parts, right? There's all sorts of information out there, but I only want to work with people that are really making it happen. So today I've got a call and I'm really excited about this because I know that um, this is only not only going to help me, it's going to help my clients. It's going to help me to help my clients. So the more you learn, the more you, the more you learn, isn't always the more you earn unless you implement what you learn, right? So you remember that it's not just about gathering information. You've actually got to apply it. You've got to take decisions. You've got to make decisions. Often people come to me and say, hey, listen, Mindy, um, I know you can help me. I've been stuck for five years at this level. My business isn't growing. Um, I've, I've seen you help such and such. I watched her interview, his interview, and I know that you're the guy for me. Okay, all right. Here's what you got to do. Uh, well, I'm not sure that's going to work for me. All right, why not? Uh, because of this, that, and the other. Okay, well, you've got to do that. Well, I don't think... It... Okay, so this person is um, bypassing their success. In their mind, they're already hindering their success because they're already seeing their conditioning is causing this, them, them to make decisions. So their conditioning puts up obstacles, roadblocks in front of them to stop them moving forward. But unless you can make a decision that's uncomfortable for you, that maybe it doesn't even make sense. It's illogical. For you to make a logical growth in your business, you've got to park your own logic aside. You've got to say, hey, listen, my way of making decisions hasn't been serving me that well has brought me to where, where I am. So I need to be able to like adapt my way of making decisions and I need to start to think, act, behave and, and, and execute things that someone else is telling me to do that. Someone who's been where I've been. Now I've made lots of mistakes to get me to where I am. You know, I had to learn new things. I had to learn old ideas, unlearn old ideas, I should say. And then I followed the steps of a great mentor. I followed things that didn't make sense to me, but I was told to do something and I didn't question it. And the reason I didn't question it, because I knew this person I was learning from knew exactly what they were doing. So I didn't doubt and inside my mind. Don't get me wrong. Things were going on like this isn't illogical. This doesn't make sense. Why would I keep on doing this? I remember going to one of uh, Bob's training events and I heard him say the same thing. I, I took the same notes over and over again about three, four times. And now I'm thinking, fucking, I've heard this before. I know this before, but but why, why do I keep on doing it? I remember I used to study with Bob Proctor in his inner circle and he'd literally he literally have a paragraph open. It would be a small paragraph, a tiny paragraph, and he'd get us to read it. We'd, we'd print off the, the, the little paragraph and he'd tell us to study every day. Just that one thing. And I'm like, where is the, where, where is, um, where, where, where's the sense in doing that? But here's the thing. My, my logical mind was telling me that it's, don't do it. You don't need to do that. This makes no sense. You've read it yesterday. Why do you want to read it again for another like 12, 13, 14 times? You know, but I, I put that to one side. I just thought, if Bob's telling me to do something, there's got to be some value in doing it. So I just followed what he was teaching me. And we need a certain amount of repetition for learning. It's the first law of learning, repetition. So what I did is I just followed his instruction. I made I made a decision. Hey, listen, my way isn't working. So why don't I just follow his? Even if it makes no sense to me right now, um, I trust him, I respect him, and I've seen what he's about. So I just do it. Now, a lot of my clients sometimes, I'll tell them to do something. I know some of you don't. And some do, but the ones that do do it, they get phenomenal results. There's a price that you have to pay for everything in life, right? Now, for success, there's a price that you have to pay. You've got to, you've got to like invest in yourself, number one, and then you've got to do things that are logical to you right now. It doesn't make sense to you, but you've got to do them anyway. And you're thinking, what? Why should I do that? Do you want to be where you, you want to stay where you are, or do you want to go somewhere else? Now, success is um, uncomfortable. You know, to earn more money. To grow your business to certain levels, you're going to have to face um, difficult decisions sometimes. Sometimes they do not make sense. But here's the thing. They say success success leaves clues, right? There's a golden thread that lies through successful people. So I want to surround myself with highly successful people. And I want to, I want to listen to what they've done, the strategies they've followed. And I'm not talking about just marketing strategies. I'm talking about like mental strategies, some of the exercises they do in order for them to retrain their brain. Because we've got to rewire stuff, right? Your wise, your brain is wired in a certain way right now. And every single decision that you make, you're making based upon how you're wired up. Now, we've got to unlearn some new things. We've got to build some new patterns, right? And then once we start to do things 
with repetition over a certain period of time, we start to form new patterns in your brain. And then you start to act differently. You start to see things differently. But the reticular activator is a part of your brain. It's a filtering mechanism. And have you ever noticed like when you buy a new car, a certain color, you start seeing them everywhere? It could be a jacket that you buy, like me seeing this, this nice square jacket. Uh, when I, I've never seen one of these until I brought it. And then when I brought it, I only see two because it's kind of exclusive, right? But I still did see two versus the none that I saw before. And so what happened is my brain started to fi filter out all the information that's not important to me, all right? Your brain processes so much information every single second of the day. Imagine you notice everything. You would lose the plot, right? You'd notice everything like the little fly on the wall or everything. You, you'd be going crazy. So this part of your brain only filters out things that are relevant to you. This is why I could have seen this jacket before someone wearing it. Somebody could have walked past me. But because now I'm wearing it, it's important to me. My brain recognizes that there, it builds an association with myself and this jacket. This, the, and all of a sudden you might see one and think, fuck. And this is what happens. Once you start to rewire your brain in a certain way, you'll start to see different ways. You'll start to see opportunities in a different way. At one point, something doesn't make sense to you. And then all of a sudden it makes sense when the penny drops. It's really important that you get this. So really question yourself, like, is my way of making decisions, is my way of thinking, um, is it in harmony with what I want to create? You want to create a million dollar income. You want to earn a million bucks a year. Are you thinking from a million? What does someone who earns a million a month, a million a year think? How do they act? How do they behave? How do they see an opportunity? Do they go for it or do they procrastinate? Really think about that, right? If you want to, if you want to become a millionaire, you can't be making like um, decisions of someone who only earns a hundred thousand a month. If you want to, when I say a million, I'm on about a million a year. You want to earn a million a year, you must start to make decisions of someone who earns that level of money because they make decisions differently. Decisions on the frequency. Once you change your way of making decisions, you'll start to attract different things. This is one thing I look for when. I'm going to coach anybody, anybody that comes into our coaching or on a, on a call. We look at their ways of making decisions. We want to look at you. Listen, are you able to follow instruction? Why are you going to question everything that I say? Yes, there's going to be some questions, but there's questions. But, you know, sometimes you've got to just like say, hey, listen, I'm going to go all in on this. My logic is getting in the way of my success. So one thing that we look for is how fast that you're actually able to make decisions, how coachable you are. Really important that you're coachable because if you're not able to follow instruction, if you can't make sense of something that I'm telling you to do, all right, initially, how are you going to make sense of me working with you for the next 12 months and getting you to do some stuff that does not make sense to you? The things that make sense to you, right, probably keep you stuck. And that's probably the reason why you are where you are. So I want you to think about what I've been speaking about here. So until the next one, listen, keep going, make fucking major decisions. And remember, go all out or go back to fucking bed. Because if you ain't going to go all out, you might as well stay in bed and keep those toes nice and warm. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Mindy Paul Show. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, be sure to check out the show notes where you can find helpful links to learn how to reach your personal and professional success. Thank you again. Until next time.